Hi, I'm Greg Parsons, Product Manager for ABB Industrial Automation Parts and Repair. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new MySpare Parts widget available on the MyABB Business Portal. MySpare Parts is a centralized platform to access key elements concerning your site spares quality. It consists of three views. The first is Analyzer a self-service process that starts with you uploading your existing spares into a simple Excel template to validate part number quality. Then two remaining views include a recommended spares report based on your install base and a gap analysis designed to proactively address and reduce risk from unknown spare part related problems. When we come into the widget, what we see is three initial tabs. Um, you'll see a tab titled Analyzer, a tab titled Recommended Spares, and a tab titled Gap Analysis. Now the Analyzer is the self-service portion of this. This allows you to upload your spare parts inventory to ABB and receive an analysis in return. I'd like to walk you through that now. Coming into the Analyzer tool, you generally won't see data to start with. What you'll see is a, an item here that says that you can download the template. So by selecting the download template, it pops up an Excel spreadsheet that you can see really requires two fields, your part number and the quantity. Once you save those to your local hard drive, um, you'll then simply select the upload button. You can do drag and drop functionality or simply add the file. Upon uploading the data, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a matched versus an unmatched quantity. What that's telling you is 114 of these items are actually matched to the ABB part number, and when you call us, we'll recognize that. However, seven of those items are not matched. So when you call us, there'll be some questions, and it may delay or slow down your order. Next, you'll select the Get Report button. Once you select that, you'll see that four questions pop up that helps help us better qualify your information. The first is, do you know the condition and location of all your spare parts? The second would be, have you had downtime from any related to any failed parts? Um, this is a very important issue for us, of course, and for you. So this one shoots to the top of our priority list. The next question is, um, are all your parts kept in sealed and static bags? This primarily relates to electronics, um, but in, in a very important element of stocking inventory. Uh, and then the last question is, are you aware of all the inventory options and programs that ABB has available for parts? Once that's processed, you'll see the final confirmation of your information, 114 matched items versus seven unmatched. Also then you can see the available reports. So you'll notice this one shows up um, in my history immediately, and I can select this download button, which takes me right to the core data. As soon as I complete that step, I then um, I can select the download button, which will open up that file into an Excel format. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here we see the data that's returned to you in the report. Um, you can see two tabs of information, matched versus unmatched. In the matched, we see the part number that was submitted by you, the part description, which is updated from our databases, um, the quantity submitted, and then five different fields of information. Uh, the first is the risk level of the part. Now this is the intrinsic risk, so it's the core level. Not necessarily your risk, um, it's how ABB views the risk in high, medium, and low categories. We see the life cycle status. We see the country stock indicator of yes or no. Now this is pulled from, our, from ABB's business online. And then we see two additional pieces of information, replaceable, or repairable, and these are just yes-no indicators of if, does our database show any replacement items or is the item repairable. One more thing to note is that you can see a history of the reports you've generated, as many as five recent reports, and you can again go through the download process on those as well. I'd like to shift to the recommended spares tab now. The display donut shows the quantity of high, medium, and low risk items in your installation. By selecting the download report, we see an Excel template that shows the part number, the description, the risk level, how many you have installed, and based off that quantity 
life cycle, and risk, how many ABB recommends that you should stock? So the third tab is the gap analysis that ties the other two pieces of information together. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, here in this case, we see that um, the display icons show how many items that are below ABB's recommended stock level, how many match our recommended stock level, and how many are above our recommended stock level. It's important to note that we're not only looking for missing inventory, in some cases we're looking for excess inventory that's not necessary at the site as well. So by selecting the download report button, we can see that the reports look very similar. Uh, part number, description, risk level, life cycle status, how many you have installed. But now we're gonna look at the site on hand data that was supplied in Analyzer compared to the recommendation from the recommended spares report. And then we're gonna match those two and look for either missing or excess inventory. Um, of note is that all of these tabs um, have filters. So very quickly, you're able to zero in on high risk items, uh, maybe with um, late life cycle statuses, where ABB recommends you stock those quantities, but you don't. So these are the kind of things that we should discuss and proactively try and address before they cause problems. So thank you for your time. That was a brief overview of the My Spare Parts widget on My ABB. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your local sales contacts or feel free to contact me at any time. I'm happy to help. Thanks for your time.